Okay. All right. Welcome to the Haroset Making Class. <laughs> Thank you. For all of my loyal friends. Here, you see it, you know, it's like the cooking show, they've already done it in advance. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which I hate, it's not fair. Here is twice grated apples in the food processor. Okay, so it really depends on how smooth or coarse you like your haroset, right? You know, what's really interesting is that um, the Sephardim used dates and apricots and almonds and all kinds of stuff. Uh, and that seems to sort of look like mortar. But what's so interesting to me is that people don't, most people don't grate their apples, but they chop them into bricks which doesn't make any sense to me, nor does it meld the taste together properly. So for generations in my family, um, I guess my mother and my, my grandmother and my great-grandmother used a grater. We have here the food processor. So these are twice grated apples. That's the Novik tradition. Okay. First, we have this. We're going to get a thrill because you're going to see the food processor. How many apples are in that bowl? Okay, there are about eight apples. Okay. Oh, and by the way, oh, have you ever seen this? Oh, yes. <laughs> no? It, what is that? It's an apple peeler. Oh. Oh, oh that's interesting. And you, what you do, I'm not going to do it because it broke on me today. Um, you put the core of the apple here and you grind it through and it not only peels the apples, cores the apples, but slices the apples. Oh, that's good. Contraction. You two can get this at Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> Only online. Not an expense. But it's really great. It really, it really, if you're going to make a roset or if you're going to bake apple pie, which I do a lot, that's why I really likes apple pie. Um, you got to have this. I have to go get another one, but Bed Bath & Beyond is closed now, so. Right. Yeah. This is really terrific. It's just, you can go online, apple peeler, and there it is. Okay. And you just, yeah, put a little water underneath and station it down, and there you go. Okay, so we're really ready. So after the apples are grated, then I have to stand up. This is going to get a little noisy. Only if the guy is hocking in the back. What's that? I said only if the plumber is hocking in the back. <laughs> I don't hear him. I don't hear him. All right. So we pour some walnuts. Come on, guys bunch of walnuts. I wanted to show the call this show the barefoot canter. Okay. You should, you know, I don't know if you know Lauren works for the Food Network. She should be really? on yes. She should be watching this. She should get me on done your daughter. Okay. So I, this I, I, I work very precisely. How much, did, how many, how much app, uh, walnuts did you just pour in? Okay, that's what I was just going to say. This is a 16 ounce bag of shelled walnuts. And I used about half of them. Okay? Okay. All right. So, here we go. This you have to, you have to pulse, right? You have to watch when you're pulsing because you're not making a walnut crust, you're making just chopped walnuts. Okay. I still have to figure out how to do this. By the way, cleaning a food processor is really a pain in the toughest. That's why they have washing machines. That's why they have who? Dishwashers. Oh, 
Mine's name is Marsha. <laughs> and we take the walnuts. Oh, we get it out of the food processor. And oh, let's go. And we pour it all around the apples, right? And so we mix the walnuts into the apples. Maybe this will be my next career. Yeah. <laughs> the Harosa Cantor. Something like that. I gotta taste it first, see if there's enough walnuts. Nope, sorry. Not enough walnuts. Do they do this on television or are they just? I don't know. I have to ask Lauren what they do. If they do I mean, if it's not enough them. ingredients, where are my walnuts? You should be on, I'm telling you, maybe next year. Huh? I know, come here. All right, so Bob, it's almost a whole. Okay, so we blew up to almost 16 ounces, yeah? Almost a whole shell bag of walnuts. Okay. Again. All right. That looks good. I only use this food processor on Pesach. It's a carryover from the days when I changed all my dishes. Oh, I remember. Oh my God. I have a processor that's dedicated to Passover. Really? Say that again? I say I have one processor that's dedicated to Passover. Yes, set away. That's right, Yeah. Oh, this, God. Is, this just gets washed and dried and put away by tonight. And I won't see it again until next year because I don't need it for anything else I make. All right, so we're going to mix. You're supposed to do that on television? Mix. Yes, yes. Tip the bowl so you can see mixing. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, here comes the part where everybody gets grossed out because I like things sweet. <laughs> All right? Oh, honey. honey. Uh-huh. Lots. Is that your secret lots. ingredient? No, that's a common ingredient. Is it? Hmm. Never yeah. used it. Neither did I. What do other people use to sweeten it up? Not as much honey as I do, I bet. Cinnamon and brown sugar. Cinnamon. Yeah, my, no, just just the I've seen brown sugar. Wine. But I've never used it before. Okay, we'll we'll try yours this year. Yeah. Okay. Got a lot of honey. Sorry, Susan. No, you know how what I'm gonna do, Martha? I'm gonna take yeah. apple sauce and make carosis. Because I That's a great idea. Apples, why not? Same flavor. I don't have enough right. left over in the freezer. It's very unsanitary, but <laughs> <laughs> it's got to get tasted. Sorry, needs more honey. See, that's not enough. It's you know, in my family, a lot of families talk about the matzo balls. They're hard. They're this. They're yeah. That. In my family, they hoo hoo gaga over the carosa. Yep. I have no idea how to make matzo balls hard or soft. I don't know what that means. I don't know how you do it. This is Manischewitz makes them just dandy. Matzo balls? Yep. I now buy them from Jack, my butcher. I get them from Deli King. <laughs> I bet they're they're I guess are they hard or are they soft? Oh, uh, they're, in, they're in my, I have some in my refrigerator. I don't know. They're just right. They are right. delicious. I right. love them. Penny does nice work. 
Oh, I love candy. This is not an advertisement. Up, oh, that's it, of course. <laughs> is she pouring it in the bowl or is she drinking it? L'chaim. <laughs> L'chaim. I already had a vodka and tonic. It's right. okay. Which, which, which Manischewitz are you, which Manischewitz are you using? Oh, Concord Grape. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Traditional. You can use um, Malaga. We're... A lot of wine. You mix, and mix, and mix, and mix, and mix. The wine all around. I'm making a mess. But it's a pretty bowl. Is that a pretty bowl? Delicious. The problem with using a lot of wine is that uh, it gets very soupy. But it also gives a great flavor. Okay, let's taste. Mm. Your fingers add to it. Yeah. I know. You know how many times I wash my hands? <laughs> okay. Yep. Cinnamon. Oh, okay. Honey, cinnamon, yummy. Yeah, that was good. I think Jackie was supposed to post the recipe online. Oh, that wouldn't have been any fun. Yeah, I know. I said to her, you know, because her mom and her grandmother, especially as a real Jewish cook, I said, it's the school of shitterine. You shit here. Right, so that's, that's out there. With, and the measurement was always the yard side class. Yeah. <laughs> that I didn't know. Like, that's her eye. A ball. handful of this and a handful yeah, shit of her eye. That's it. I would ask my mother for recipes. She would say, I don't know. <laughs> so I would just this watch her cook. This or this or that. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Let's mix it all around. Oh, God. This is so much fun with you guys. I love all of you. Yeah, this is really like our own little fun. private party. Right. Yeah, this is great. Okay. You made such a big bowl. Are you making anything else for the Seder? I'm making matzo farfel kugel, which has, um, uh, let's see, pineapple, a um, lot of sugar, a lot of sugar, cinnamon, eggs. Um, it's really good. Then I make sweet potatoes and I make, um, the dried fruit compote. Oh, that my okay. mother-in-law made. That was her special. That was my mother's thing. Right. <laughs> Mine yeah. too. And if I don't make my mother's green beans, my, my mother was an amazing cook. She was an amazing cook. And so... I followed all of her recipes for all the holidays that we have. I know that whatever I make will be great because it was my mother's recipes. When I'm on my own, who knows? Right. So for the holidays, guaranteed a good meal. Great. Tastes good. I wish we could try it, right? Yummy. We'll, we'll, we'll let you know after the Seder how it came out. Yeah, you know, it's all pure tasting. It's all, this looks pretty good to me. Oh God, it's all slipping. It'll fall all over the place. Looks delicious. It's very soupy, but you can, you know, take the liquid out. I wouldn't add any more wine. And this will hold for till well, next Wednesday? You no, know, it's funny. I was looking at some recipes just to see what other people did. And they said, you could make it a few days before Passover. I mean, when my parents used to come over for two weeks after, we would have matzah and harosa as a, like a little hors d'oeuvre. It lasts because the wine. It, it keeps keeps. To worry it. about it. It keeps my it. Family, it didn't keep because everybody ate it up. <laughs> that was it. Right. <laughs> the hit of the night. That was it. It's uh, God. I made a lot. Like for our Seder. All right. Well, I think I need more honey. Are you doing the service? Are you singing from your house tomorrow night or how are they working? 
Um, uh, yeah, Ethan from his house, sure. me from my house. I'll be mostly at the piano because that's basically what I would do. And uh, do the music of the Seder. And uh, it should be fun. But then we'll have our own Seder afterwards. Kids wanted to do their own. Yeah, don't blame okay. them. So, that sounds, sounds good, sounds good. Thank you. You know, Susan, I missed the uh, first Seder at the nursing home. Yeah, isn't that a shame? They won't let anybody. I hope they're okay. Yeah, I no, hope no. So. Nobody, uh, people of Winchester Gardens can't get out of their rooms. They bring them the food to their uh, their room. Really? They can't even leave their, their apartments? I didn't Correct. know that. Correct. Whoa. That's, what, that's what Millie told me. Whoa. Millie Pollock sends her love to you. Martha, she's, I spoke to her. She's up in Massachusetts. She's, she's up in Massachusetts, right? She's there this week, but she comes down... Uh, very frequently. She can't now because of the problem, but she's down very frequently. She has a new yeah. boyfriend. I hear. <laughs> Where? At, at Winchester, Winchester Gardens? Yes. Yes. Oh, good for her. Nice. But uh, the daughter came and got her last week and said, you know, you better come up. Uh, uh, she's very smart or she'd be stuck in her room. Right. right. Not, not, not good. Terrible. I'm going to get off because I expect Noah to call in five minutes. It's been fun. <laughs> in my regards. I, I, this has I, been I, a real up. This yes. is fun. Yes, this is de definitely. Love to march I can okay. honestly you. say, mm -hmm. I love you all. Yeah. I love you too. And we it's love you too. my That's heart. Why you. That's why we, a smile. Just do me a favor and be safe. Yes. You to too. Peace. You too. Give a hug to, you, Abby. To, to Abby. Give right. her a hug and a kiss. That's it. I, I will. Tell. I will. Tell. Hi, Tal. All right. Love you good all. Shabbos. Good pass up. Stay healthy. Hopefully, Bye. we'll be together soon. Oh, yeah. Let's Bye. Go. Bye. Really together. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. Love you all. Bye. 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 Bye.